Okay, so we're here on page 197, and it says to write the missing numerators and denominators to get the equivalent fractions. So let's go ahead and try that. For A, we have one half, and for this missing numerator here, we should write two fourths. And then for this one, looks like four is my numerator and eight is my denominator. For the next one, uh, for B, looks like I have one part out of a total of five. So my denominator should be five. All right, for the next one, I have two parts filled in. That'll be my numerator. And that's a total of two times one, two, three, four, five. So that's a 10 for my denominator. All right, so we have those equivalent fractions there. In here, you can write down any equivalent fraction. I'm just gonna multiply this one, the numerator by two, and the denominator also by two. And that'll give me the equivalent fraction. And I'd encourage you to write these, write these down, to write that part down and say what you're multiplying the numerator and the denominator by. And that'll be the first equivalent fraction for part A. And then B, we should say three times two and two times two. That's going to be four over six or four sixths. And the next one, I'm just going to multiply this by three and this one by three as well. And I get 12 fifteenths. You could also say eight tenths as well, but that works. All right. So the next one, let's multiply this denominator by two and this one by two, and I'm going to get six eighths. All right, so those are the equivalent fractions there for number two. All right, so those are your answers for page 197.